Hello YouTube, this is an unboxing video for the GeForce GTX 760 4GB of video RAM GDDR5 made by NVIDIA, uh, EVGA uh, supports 3-way SLI Let's see what kind of stats it has here all the NVIDIA crap blah 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 See the back of the card, display port, HDMI, DVI, DVI-D. That's what the card looks like apparently. And uh, package contents, card, driver software disk. Yeah, nobody uses that anymore. Six pin PCIe power adapter used guys. So this card needs two six pin power adapters coming from the motherboard to power it on top of the PCIe bus. Uh, Supports OpenGL 4.3, NVIDIA Shield ready. Not sure what that means. It's a DirectX 11.1 API support, which is with a level 11.0 hardware implementation. So the .1 feature set is probably implemented through uh, driver support. Uh, yep. Five hundred watt or greater power supply with a minimum of thirty amps on twelve plus twelve volt rail. Supports PCI Express two point oh and three point oh. There we go. Two six pin PCI Express power connectors. Microsoft Windows eight seven Vista and XP are supported. Minimum system requirements on a Windows based PC. Core i seven three point two gigahertz processor. Oh no, okay. Uh, for a 500 watt power supply, this minimum requirement was on an i7 3.2 gigahertz processor. That's what I mean. Mm, push keys, yeah. EVGA marketing, blah, blah. All right. Let's uh, rip her open. The official. Unboxing tool. Uh, just a moment, bear with me. It's all a blur. Please note, if your product is not working probably do not to return to the store. EVJ offers direct customer service. All right. Apparently EVGA is known for having good customer service from what I've read online. Hoping I'll never have to use it. One-handed unboxing. And shimmy shimmy. here this appears to be a poster game of pones clever EVGA gaming arm yourself with EVGA <laughs> Clever. Never letting anyone see I own that ever. What do we have here? 
graphics card user guide. Here we have the drivers, and there seems to be something in there. Packed in there with the CD. Powered by EVGA. So I guess this is a sticker you put on your computer case or whatever you like. Very cool. So, driver, sticker. Okay. Two six pin. How to organize the SLI cards on your motherboard. Back of the card. Okay. Okay. EBJ enthusiast built. Uh, stickers, white and black. Now we can actually get to some innovation overview. Hardware installation details. Troubleshooting. All right. Here we have a VGA to DVI adapter. Sorry, DVI to VGA. And here, yep. So we have, uh, I believe, two IDE to six pin connector. Power and another one, and here we have the card. Good packaging, I have to say. And also, the box that Newegg shipped this in was really, really well packed. Uh, thanks, Newegg, for doing a good job. Uh, let me see if I... There we go. Whoa, I'm gonna put that down here. She is. It's pretty long card. It's full size. And it also has a sticker on it to protect it. Nice. And I don't know if you can see here, but it has covers for all the ports, which is a nice touch. Go. There's the front of the card. All right, let's see the back. Very nice. Here is the, okay. So the actual card itself is not the full does not take the full length. The board does not take the full length. You can see here at the bottom that it's actually the cooler sitting on top that extends it. And that's right below the blower fan. Right. The actual chip sits about hmm, two thirds down the card, close to the blower. It's a black board. Everything looks well. Let me focus here. Everything looks pretty well done. And this is what the other side of the card looks like. VGA, there's a 2 6 pin connector, G760. I like the way this card looks. It's a good looking card. 
So that's it for the uh, unboxing of the EVGA G460 GTX 760, 4 gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, also, uh, shout out to Newegg who shipped this box and this box full of this stuff. Well done, Newegg. All right. Happy uh, gaming, PC modding, nerding out, people.